Okay, so four hours of of testing the, this Calhoun medium um, and where we are, what we think, what I think um, for my 10 cents as I was asked to um, to answer some questions. Some people said they were having issues with the Calhoun medium in my shooting stars and we're having trouble having it run and we're having to run in incredibly hot temperatures to get it to flow. So I reached out to Jeff Hill, supplier of Calhoun, and bought four gallons of their medium. Um, I want to stress I paid market rate for it. I didn't get any discount, didn't get anything. I bought four gallons of the medium. Um, it shipped within the day of me ordering it. So awesome job on the customer service, quicker turnaround than me at the moment. Um, arrived in good shape. In fact, I'll get one of the pots. Arrived here, fully separated, um, which is fine. I, I sat and shook it for about three, three and a half minutes, three, four minutes until it was, it was fully mixed. Um, chucked it in a 16 ounce Pyrex cup and did eight cups per pot to fill it right up. Um, initial thoughts. It cooked really nicely, went through the gel stage very smoothly. Um, on its, on its last cook through, which I did at 75 second intervals and stirred in between each time. I think it took four or five runs through to go through gel and come, come clear. Um, initial thought was, um, dang, that was really full of micro bubbles. Um, and then within 30 seconds, a minute maybe of sat, it had formed a skin on the top and this is, this is just what was left in my jug. I haven't prepped this or anything. This was just the skin that was inside. And, um, you know, that's pretty damn clear to me, no issues. And then it was poured straight into my minis, um, which was sat at 290 and the bubbles cleared and it was like water in there. So really good plastic. Um, it's kept its sheen, it's kept its shine. I keep saying it, it's been three and a half hours under a minimum heat of 290 degrees. Um, and it's not showing any sign of scorch in the chartreuse. I just shot a test mold to ship and that's the chartreuse at 310. I dropped it on the floor, I dropped the plug on the floor. So let me do that. That's the chartreuse at 310. Um, perfect what are we thinking temperatures shooting and I want to stress this is my point of view when I say it was stiff and difficult to pull for me yeah it's stiff and difficult to pull for someone else um, it may be impossible to pull I don't know um, I'm nine years into this now so i'm getting a feel for how to inject i'm not the best injector I'm, i make it i don't i don't inject hundreds and thousands of bait a week like a lot of you guys do so so um bear that in mind in your comments and when you come back it's fine if you do um 290 it shot the only one that didn't shoot was the 13 inch worm but um and it only didn't shoot this portion and in retrospect when i look back on it you can see the gate has actually been opened up so it's well over five eight and i think it was when i was applying pressure the plastic was coming back out so i couldn't get an easy fill on it when i added my um excuse that damn compressor again when i added my sprue extender to it it shot perfectly from then on so i'm discounting that at 290 all the molds shot the watermelon was a really tough pull if you pull too hard on the injector um you seem to cause a vacuum and the injector pull back against you so um but if you did it really slowly you could get a fill 
but the plastic, even with the injector preheated to 325 degrees, the plastic, by the time you'd finished, was solidifying in the injector. So I would say, don't shoot 290. It's not gonna work for you. Um, the chartreuse, however, was, a, was stiff, but shot better. And as you saw with the laminates, you know, it, it, it laminated. It wasn't the cleanest laminate, but um, I'm not the best shooter, so it's as, it's as much me on that front as anything else. Um, so that was 290. I wouldn't do it myself, and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody to do at 290. 300. Um, different game. Everything started to, to ease up a bit. The chartreuse was still quite stiff, but it shot. Um, it did suck a vacuum on the injector as you were pulling, but it was still solidifying in the barrels at the end of the shot. Chartreuse, again, nice, clean, laminated well, worked. Um, no complaints. No, no discoloration with that. Um, the plastic, I just grab just a random piece. I really, really like the consistency and the shine on it. It's a lovely sheen on this plastic. Really, really polished. Um, and I've not prepped these moulds. All the moulds I've used today are just odds and sods and piddles that have come off the um, come off the, the stock shelves and the, the WTF shelf that we have at the back of the shop. Um, with the exception of the Twitchy Minnow, which was a client's that came back because he said he was having some issues with it. So I shot that through, um, which I'll discuss with the client what I found with that. But yeah, we then jumped up to 310 and everything started to come together. It was shooting really smoothly, really well. The laminate was good. The chartreuse was starting to feel fluid, maybe still a little stiff, um, but again, nothing nothing to write home or complain about. Certainly no vacuum issues in the injectors, no problems with it. Um, what do I think? I think it's a damn good plastic, I gotta say. Um, I think it's got a really nice finish on it. Um, mixes well, holds itself together well. I, I can't stress enough four hours now. It's sat here at these temperatures and, and it's fine. It's like 10 minutes after it went in. There's no bubbles. It's not losing its consistency. It's cooling well. It's, it's, it's just a good plastic. Temperature wise, I think I would probably, if I was doing a big run, I would run it 315, 320 tops. Just because I think most of you will find that a more manageable temperature to inject. Um, and also at the lower temperatures, there's so much force being placed on the injector at times, especially towards the end of the run, that it's blowing past the O-ring and getting into the back half of the injector. So um, that'll need, I'll have to put a glove on because it's still under heat, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, and this is the first time I, I've seen this with my injector. There you go. So I think what it is, is at the end of the shot where I'm trying to push it back into the, the barrel and it's starting to solidify, um, that it's causing it to push past the seal. Um, it's not a big issue, it just needs to be stripped. It's still working fine, it's still running fine, but I'll need to strip this, this, this little one down, clean her out and put it back together. To answer the question from Jessica Diaz, cleaning purging injectors. Um, I'll, do, I'll do a video on stripping it for you, Jess, that's not a problem. I think you may need to, if you're running these lower temperatures and you're in a cold environment, Bearing in mind, as I said earlier, it's 50 degrees in here today. Um, you might need a universal heater to keep your injector hot. Um, that's what I found. Certainly at 290, the injector wasn't drawing enough heat through the two pots to, to bring it up to temperature. At 310, it was a lot better. Um, that's it, really. It's good. It'll run. It runs. I don't know what the issues are people are having. I've not used a heat gun. Um, on the system, I've just run the numbers that the dials are telling me and from experience it seems pretty dang close to where it is with a heat gun. Um, give me your thoughts. 
let's have a chat about this but good plastic i highly recommend it uh it shoots well i'm stunned with i'm just really stunned with the shine it's got on it it's just a really nice really nice finish to it that's it guys leave your thoughts email me text me you've all got my number 318-265-3974 if you want to chat keep it civil um i'll be on facebook then youtube see you later guys thanks for the business keep going